It is a big headline that has caught the eyes of a lot of parents. Florida is getting rid of its tax on diapers for one year. The state says the move is expected to save taxpayers as a whole almost $39 million. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell spoke to parents who are looking forward to that financial relief. Parents know just how much diapers can add up. Josephine Vong is a mom to a one year old and has a baby on the way. We kind of did the stockpile thing. Um, and then we just been buying ever since. Parents could soon get a break when buying diapers. The 2022 state budget, as approved Monday, includes the removal of the sales tax on diapers. The tax exemption includes single use diapers, reusable diapers and reusable diaper inserts. One in three mothers in Pinellas County and Hillsborough County will face diaper need at some point in their lifetime. So the need is extreme in this area. According to the National Diaper Bank Network, one in three American families struggle with diaper need. Tori Josawan is the director and founder at Baby Cycle Diaper Bank in Pinellas County. The average parent will spend 80 plus dollars per child per month on diapers. So that is nearly $1,000 a year. So it's, it's a big burden that these parents are facing, especially with gas prices going up and inflation. It's, it's very expensive. The benefit would take effect July 1st. The governor hasn't signed the budget yet, and it needs his signature to make the diaper sales tax exemption official. Officials tell me state legislators would have to come back and reauthorize the diaper sales tax exemption year after year. They'll be able to use the funds saved on other things like clothing for back to school or even rent or electricity or food. Even though it may seem like a small amount, it, it really adds up. And parents tell me every little bit helps. Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.